Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all all are keeping well. So now uh, we are into the topic of defense technology, right? Now 2014, 2016, 2018, the UPSC has asked the questions on that. But 2000 up to 2018, you don't have any question on defense technology. And if I say purely technology-based question, it was in 2014 only when Agni 4 was asked. 2016 was the direct current affairs question that is called INS Astadharni, torpedo launch and recovery vessel. And 2018 was third, third missile of USA given to the you know, South Korea. So that was not a technological question, just based on the current aspect, right? But what I want to tell you that purely where technological aspects are asked in the question, that was only with Agni 4 missile in 2014 exam. So there is a long gap right long gap in terms of questions on defense technology part now let's understand here in defense technology what you need to keep in mind for the examination point of view right where you could get questions there what you need to keep in mind say so one is that uh, you have to know from defense research development organization right the scientific lab which involved with development of all cutting edge technologies in terms of missile technology, aeronautics, avionics, electronics warfare, naval systems. So all those areas. So DRDO point of perspective here that whatever development is there, right? And sometimes the testing of uh, missiles and weapon systems that comes in the PIB, Press Information Bureau, right? There it comes into that. Like in Press Information Bureau, you have year end, year end achievements of ministry of defense right year end achievement of ministry of defense right ministry of defense right whatever year end achievement within that you will have defense technology also whether it is a army indian army indian navy or air force you will get to know that like for example rafale right which we have purchased from france right scorpion class submarines again from france so any any such areas you will find that and again, whatever you read a newspaper and current aspect there, whatever comes in newspaper in terms of current affairs, you need to be aware of it. So question can be anywhere. It can be a anywhere the question can be asked in the examination. So what I'll do in the classroom right now is that first I'll take you to the important topics. Right? First we'll discuss some important topics, and then after that uh, we'll see certain questions which you could expect in the examination. So let us begin with the topic then. So uh, I am now coming to the topic part. So our first topic is this one, SMART, right, SMART there, the audio flight test uh, SMART weapon here. Now is a very, very important uh, part of it. Let me uh, just bring about this part. So what is here, see here, successfully tested supersonic missile, right, successfully tested supersonic missile assisted release of torpedo what is the word here supersonic missile assisted release of torpedo right release of torpedo here this has been now in the news there right and you know that wheeler island that is the chandipur on sea of the coast of odisha we did the testing of that and uh, this is basically uh, in terms of uh, what is the main part of see what was the objective you should be aware of the mission objectives what is the thing here missile flight range altitude separation of the nose cone of the missile release of torpedo and deployment of velocity reduction mechanism this were all perfectly achieved there now what is the, uh, this uh, you can see the photograph here from photograph you will be able to understand this testing was done but you see the uh, this uh, part of it. So let us understand here. Uh, what I would like to bring here in terms of here, let us understand here. What is smart? What you see the photograph here? The smart here is a missile assisted, is a missile assisted release of lightweight anti submarine torpedo system. Generally, you know that submarines or even the warship they directly release the torpedo 
that goes to the go to the animal target and destroy the target whether it is by submarine launched a torpedo or ship launched a torpedo right but now this is a new development where this torpedo will be launched and assisted with the help of missile that is a combination of missile with the torpedo torpedo is under water weapon right and missile so just like missile as it goes because missile has got more capability to strike a target just like a missile this torpedo will go under water and destroy submarine so what is given here is a missile assisted release of light weight what is very important light weight anti submarine torpedo system for anti submarine warfare right asw far beyond torpedoes range even it is not coming under torpedo range but the missile will assist to reach to the target and destroy the target so here uh, this is a very important development and this could be a part of the question what you see right now in the diagram here this has been successfully tested by the drdo right so you have to know about this what is basically now which labs have developed and all that is not very important but this is the important part which i have just brought about in the classroom here right now let's come to this another part of it now another say see here rudram flight tested anti radiation right uh, missile rudram flight was tested there very very important for the examination here right anti radiation what is very important word anti radiation missile right there is something called stealth technology electronic warfare where we can jam the network intercept the network we can anti signal system anti radiation system is another very very important part which i am discussing in the classroom there now this anti radiation missile rudram the name is the rudram this flight was successfully tested see i am trying to give you all such areas which i have not found in newspapers and also in other popular coaching institute and their website and their study material these are all from the drdo journals which i have compiled and i am discussing right now in the classroom i'll give you all this document you don't have to worry about the document part but understanding is very very important where possibly the upsc can ask question right so here rudram has been there and it is a basically new generation new generation anti radiation missile ng ram right and successfully developed by drdo for the indian air force you can see the diagram here in the in the diagram you can see here a uh, fighter craft right below the fighter craft there is a a carrier which carry the missile like air to air missile and all this missiles are carried here and you can see here this uh, this is rudram is called ng ram this is rudram which can be launched from such kind of a, a carrier here you have a carrier there right which which carry the missile and this is the rudram what you see in the photograph this is the rudram so it can be launched from and this can go to the target enemy target can hit the target there right now what is again wheeler island it was tested there and everything was successfully there now what is very important where we are going to fit this we are going to fit this one in sukhoi from russia we have sukhoi su 30 mki this fighter craft the right, sukhoi 30 mki in this fighter craft we are going to fit this particular M, you know platform with the rudram missile there right so now let's understand here uh this particular part which uh, uh, more dis description is this one so what all things can be there and you can see here the missile is uh, will be fitted here now right, the missile is going to be integrated sukhoi 30 mki uh, fighter craft right uh, with varying capability will be there and missile has inertial navigation system it works with inertial navigation system and also gps global position system navigation with passive homing headed what is passive homing without the enemy knowing it homing means going to the target homing here means to strike to the target and the enemy will not be able to detect it that means the stealth technology anti radiation means the enemy radar and all will not be able to capture it so this stealth based uh, technology was uh, developed there uh, for the final attack now phs passive head homing can detect classify engage targets over a uh, various type of frequencies what is passive uh, this one passive 
um, system here, homing system, it can detect, classify, it can not only detect, classify the targets and engage the target over a wide range of frequencies, right, as it is programmed there. So, it is a potent weapon. Rudram is a potent weapon for suppression of enemy air defense, right, for a large range there. So, DRDO and HAL together came together to develop this one, right. So, there is a very important uh, aspect of that and you could expect question in this one, right. Now, I will move on. I will just go to the next part that is the BrahMos missile. You all know that. India and Russia joint venture, right. India and Russia joint venture, uh, BrahMos corporation and the development of BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, right. Now, we are developing for hypersonic. What is supersonic? when a missile travel with a speed more than the speed of sound speed of sound is measured in one Mach number now when it goes faster than that that is between 1 Mach to 5 Mach we call it supersonic 5 Mach and above we call hypersonic speed now BrahMos supersonic cruise missile was initially made with 2.8 Mach number that is with 290 kilometers because of restriction over by the MTCR missile technology control regime but now since india has gained the membership of mtcr now we are increasing the range 400 plus kilometers plus we are also increasing the speed of the supersonic missile brahmos we are going for hypersonic version and again you know brahmos missile as a cruise missile can be used by army air force navy all three military forces so what comes here is that uh, in the news was that indigenous booster success was uh, this booster which can take the missile that was successfully test fired. So, here BrahMos land attack, uh, here land attack, land attack cruise missile, right, indigenous propeller, airframe, power supply and many other made in India subsystem was successfully flight tested with full range on 30th September 2020 from integrated test range or Kalam Island or Wheeler Island, right. So, that is where the uh, speed of, see here, the cruise missile here. This is BrahMos is supersonic cruise missile, surface to surface, army version, surface to surface, right, cruise missile with a speed, top speed of Mach 2.8 here, right. So, successfully it was done there and uh, that was in the news there, right, that was uh, covered in the news. So, I am trying to bring about all such areas where you could expect question in the examination. Now, see here another one laser guided weapons we can use today laser which can guide the missile or the weapons to the target now what is atgm anti tank guided missile we have developed indigenous nag which is third generation fire and forget anti tank guided missile which can destroy heavily armored battlefield tank and for that purpose we have nag missile which was developed under integrated guided missile program under the supervision of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. So, now here this laser guided here what has been there laser guided. So, flight testing of DRDO laser guided uh, which will help that missile to go to the target. The target here is the tank. So, anti tank guided missile here laser guided uh, anti tank guided missile right and which was fired from a very important uh, you know um, battlefield tank what India has got MBT Arjun main battlefield tank Arjun right uh, on that it was uh, there and uh, heavily uh, armored uh, this kind of can be destroyed there. So, this has been developed there this was in the and has been done under Atmanirbha Bharat make in India program there right. So, this was in the news right. Now, moving on. Now, other kind of development in DRDO like the past science um, you know, license for transfer of technology for ergonomically designed multiply, multi purpose uh, load carriage assemble right that is a for um, uh, the past is a lab in uh, Delhi based on that. So, the license agreement was signed. So, that is for load carriage and all those development not very important, but I will come to the important topic for the class here. Now, let us look at here. BrahMos uh, this one air launch cruise missile right. So, it has been cleared by the fleet uh, re release clearance was given to that right and uh, you know that I have already said that it is one of the very important missile because uh, 
India and Russia, right? India DRDO and Russian NPO, Machin Stroyenia. This is a company which is a collaboration or organization collaboration there, and uh, we have now developed there. This is the fastest, is the fastest supersonic cruise missile created history on 22nd November 2017. When it was tested first time on the Indian Air Force frontline aircraft Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, which we have purchased from Russia there, right? So um, that is a, again uh, equipped with that, and again here modified. See, uh, Brahmos is designed to be modified was of original anti-ship configuration. Brahmos air launched combat uh, there. It can be used by navy also anti-ship. It can also be used by the army surface to surface, and also by the fighter craft. The fighter craft can carry the like Sukhoi 30 MKI can carry the Brahmos missile. So that has been now uh, done there. So it was in the news there, and uh, is a very important uh, uh, part which is there, and uh, I've just uh, mentioned about it. Now look at here. Uh, this is the Sukhoi where uh, it was fitted. Right, this is the photograph. What you can see the photograph here, where it was uh, put up on uh, this Brahmos missile. You can see that checkered one was there, right? So all this was successfully test fired. We don't have to go to the uh, de detail part. Now DRDO is also helping in combating the COVID-19. Like now you know in the news, DRDO is helping build oxygen uh, making uh, you know uh, system there for the hospital, which where there is a huge demand in Delhi and Mumbai and all the oxygen cylinder. Now DRDO labs have been day and night working to make such systems which can supply the oxygen which is really required by the COVID patient there. So all those developments are now taking place here, and you can see here oxygen making system there, right? All this now DRDO is now doing that. Now let's move on to the second one. There's a MRSM, right? MRSM, medium range surface to air missile, right? Medium range surface to air missile, army version has been successfully test fired, right? Tested there. So what you find in the news there is that. On 23rd December 2020, right? Medium range. What is medium range? Like here, 30-35 kilometers medium range in the sky, right? So medium range surface to air missile (MRSM) for army version was tested from Kalam Island there. We destroyed high-speed unmanned aerial target there, right? And uh, this is in collaboration with Israel, right? Is the Indo-Israel collaboration there? Where uh, we are developing this very fast um, missile there, right? You all know that we already under integrated guided missile program developed Akash, Akash uh, surface to air missile, 25 to 30 kilometer range. But now with Israel we are developing more advanced one, even longer range than Akash missile there. So this MRSM was there, and uh, uh, this is now army version of the MRSM and. Here it was all tested. The command system is multifunction radar. Everything was tested. That was all successfully tested for the army, right? So you have to know that India-Israel collaboration. This part you have to be aware of that. You can see the photograph here. This was test fired, right? In the Kalam Island Wheeler Island, and uh, this was uh, successfully now see here. Another one very important. Smart anti-airfield weapon from. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is Hawk One. Hawk One is the craft there. Right there, this is saw is very very important for the exam. Is important for the exam, right? Is important for the exam, and you could get question in the exam. What is called here? Indigenous doubler smart, smart anti-air field weapon. Saw, S A A W, right? It was that uh, the platform was Hawk One, built by H A W. HAL Hindu Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, and their H Hawk, this uh, MK 132 was used to you know for testing there. Again, Chandipur and see Balasore, Odisha. This testing was carried out. So now, what is saw is there? This is important part. Saw this uh, is a uh, industriously designed and developed by DRDO sir. This lab there, right? This uh, research center, Imarat that is Hyderabad, is 125 kilogram class smart weapon. Which is capable of engaging ground enemy airfield assets such as radars, bunkers, right, taxi tracks, 
and runway etc up to a range of 100 kilometers they are smart one they are called smart because ground based enemy like the battlefield all the bunkers and tanks and systems and weapons all these will get in the 100 kilometer range can be destroyed by this particular weapon there so what is given here 125 kilogram class weapon is there the weight is given and sometimes important facts you have to remember drdo or defense related topic you have to be aware of the facts question will be based on the facts so here um, all those can be radars can be destroyed bunkers can be if radars can be like you know chakma dena dhoka dena the radar will keep on seeing this uh, smart this saw saw will move there the radar will be diverted to that side and we will be able to carry out the operation destroy the enemies right even that can be done there so here um, high precision guided bomb there was bomb high precision guided bomb and is lightweight as compared to other weapon system of the same class right and the weapon was earlier successfully test fired by jaguar jaguar aircraft is lightweight in its own class and high precision guided bomb and earlier it was tested with the jaguar right so it's a very very important topic which i have discussed right now in the classroom there right now let's moving on um, we'll now go to the next topic here this one pistol diado develops india's first indecisively indecisively 9 mm machine pistol today we build those kind of uh, pistol rifle also done by diado labs not very important just i have shown you the photograph mau mau in uh, mp there is a infantry school where this weapon system was developed there all right now it's moving on another important missile we we want to discuss here qr sam quick reaction surface to air missile right this is important quick reaction surface to air missile this is the important for the exam right now again india israel we are working with india and israel this is the indo israel uh, collaboration we are developing that so now what is here a quick reaction surface to air missile again system was achieved a major milestone right it was uh, chandipur and sea wheeler island was successfully tested and uh, it is a it can it can like in a very fast interval one by one can go to the air and destroy the targets multiple targets can be destroyed now what is a very important here is that which i would like to bring uh, in the classroom is that this type of system here right you can see the system here this is the surface to air missile and it uses a different type of uh, you know uh, part of that all qr same weapon system like battery malfunction multifunction battery multifunction radar battery surveillance radar right battery command post vehicle mobile launcher were all successfully tested um and that was uh, on the wheeler island we have done that right we have successfully tested this one and it is a very important development for uh, uh, indian army and air force right this what um, is a milestone for uh, india there right what do you see the diagram here now another very important pinaka pinaka rocket system there it can be also be a question asked in the exam what is pinaka rocket system here this pinaka rocket system here now is the we have got pinaka mk2 pinaka mk2 has been now developed it is basically multi barrel you have a carrier which has a barrel multi barrel rocket launching system there it can fire rocket which can destroy target up to 70 km 70 km and uh, we can fire uh, 12 such rockets in 44 seconds by this launcher there right so multi barrel rocket launching system is there now the advanced version has been test fired right so on 4th november 2020 uh, in pune this has been now tested there right so it is a very very important uh, development for india and you can see here this is how it looks like this system you have right you have the barrel here you have a carrier here on the truck tatra truck and all and here you have a where you can have fitted missiles and one by one this all rockets can be fired 70 km range it can destroy the target there and it has 12 12 rockets can be fired in 44 seconds one by one what you see right now in the diagram there right now moving forward 
let us now understand here uh, another anti tank guided missile dhruvast right dhruvast has been down developed this is another very important one nag and all we are having that but again indigenous dhruvast anti tank guided missile atgm right dhruvast dhruvast has been now successfully test fired now it can be as big as most of time people know only nag missile they may not be aware of dhruvast and there can be direct question there can be a direct question in the exam right you could get direct question in the exam so destroy see here dhruvast is designed to destroy tanks armored vehicles and bunkers even bunkers also there and again we have learned we have done the test and here helicopter helicopter launched dhruvast is equipped with imaging infrared seeker thermal and infrared seeker it can imagine uh, imagine imaging can be done and operate at lock on before launch while lock on before launch there that first the we can with the radar can detect the heavily armored vehicle or tank or bunkers of the enemies and then we can lock it so the missile will go to the target right that's it will just homing according to the movement of target and here is a fire and forget that means missile is capable of detecting its own target and going to destroy it just like nag only and engaging a target of 4 km range nag also has got 4 km range and it is a air version from helicopter we have launched like nag nag also has a helicopter launch version called helina hindustan aeronautics limited has built a, a very important helicopter called as a dhruv advanced light helicopter now here dhruvast also is the same way like helina so here um, is all weather scene can engage targets both in direct hit mode that you can hit the mode as well as top attack mode that you can hit or from the top it can attack the target there and is all weather capability of the missile it can be used in rainy season uh, dry season winter season foggy condition and also summer including summer desert condition where the battlefield tanks and all are there like jaisalmer barmer when look in rajasthan borders that right, desert areas there we can have okay so this all uh, has been now done there and is a, has the all use of mask and everything was done to do the testing during the covid time there so it is important part you can see the photograph here i'll show you the photograph here this is the photograph like where it was tested this is the dhruvast what do you see right now this is dhruvast right so i'm showing photograph also so that you are able to recognize and understand that part right so this was in the news now another one very very important one navy induct say indigenously developed a torpedo deco system marich is a very very important uh, for the examination and you could get a question in the exam marich decoy system that means if there is any enemy torpedo which has been fired by the enemy to our submarine or our ship then this marich can deflect or divert that incoming enemy torpedo to some other direction so that our submarine our warships are saved from that attack so here it works there see here you have a ship there you can see here the you have here ship right and it has a cable here there is a tow cable is there what you can see there is a cable is there underwater cable is there is based on acoustic right this is a and tow means that means it is a attached with a ship as the ship move forward this cable will also move forward and at the end you can see here here what you see the yellow color here this one right this is a kind of a towed array decoy is there this is a called this uh, this produces sound it generates a sound it generates sound right like you know underwater all the it works on the acoustic sound so what will happen here that uh, whatever the the submarine let's say this is enemies enemy of them right this is enemy of that so enemy submarine by right, enemy submarine let's say it fires there so what will happen this is the enemy submarine right 
and it uh, locates and fire to this part right it has to the enemy submarine fights fires this one so that it can destroy our ship our submarine this this has to be the part but it does not go in this track it does not go in this way it will because we'll get this will get attracted to this uh, this um, torpedo will get attracted to this uh, sound of this uh, decoy and this will just go there so instead of going to the ship and destroying the ship or submarine what it is doing that it just goes with the sound and goes and attack the part of the part of the um, decoy there so that's what uh, it happens there right so this is called mari system anti submarine warfare capability of the indian navy received a so conclusion contrast here that is called anti torpedo defense system mari right and the drdo's naval system material lab right and naval science and technology lab right uh, has developed this particular system is a very very important development there right it's a very very important development for the exam and you could get question in the examination all right now let's say moving on another topic i am coming here let's go to the next topic here all these topics are very very important and uh, see here hypersonic technology demonstration vehicle what is hypersonic what is hypersonic hypersonic here means more than 5 mac one mac number is the speed of sound in here more than 5 mac hypersonic version part of there right so there uh, again kalam island the hypersonic technology demonstration vehicle sstv the vehicle is there which you can fire with the hypersonic cruise missiles and all can be fired with this uh, platform that was successful test fire this hypersonic cruise vehicle was launched using a proven solid rocket motor right uh, 30 km range and all this was tested successfully there right all it was successfully tested there it was in the news there what you can see the photograph here this vehicle this vehicle which carry there and the missile can be launched right from that the technological vehicle which help in the missile part of that that was uh, tested by drdo right now let's come to the next one pinaka i have already mentioned that pinaka is a multi barrel rocket launch system again it was successfully tested in salvo mode salvo mode means single alone right uh, here you see here what is given here this pinaka multi barrel rocket launching system right that was test fired um with a live warhead right uh, salvo mode with 60 second interval between two firings one firing of the rocket 70 km uh, range then after gap of 1 minute automatically is second fire this is called salvo mode one by one with a interval of time there was a launch was there right so all this uh, parameters and everything was tested successfully there all right now let's come to the another part from the drdo uh, journal and the newsletter that is a lca navy light combat aircraft tejas you know that tejas uh, which hl has built right light combat aircraft tejas indigenous fighter craft right now you are also aware this vikramaditya ins vikramaditya that is a aircraft carrier right now we are having only one aircraft carrier that is a ins vikramaditya which we have bought from russia its original name is admiral goskov we have bought from russia and this uh, aircraft carrier we are having right now the ins vikrant was uh, retired in 1987 and now recently ins virat has been retired kochi shipyard limited is building a new vikrant right but uh, right now which we are using we have only one that is the ins vikrant ditya there is a long dock is there is the biggest ship what is called aircraft carrier which has fighter craft helicopters on there and their fighter craft can take land off they can take off and land on the runway on the dock now tejas our fighter craft arrested landing what is arrested landing the moment it because uh, what will happen the ship you don't have a long runway 1 km 2 km long runway is not there the moment the fighter craft land on the dock of the aircraft carrier right it has got only limited uh, kind of a kind of a runway 
so it has to immediately stop what is called arrested landing it will get down and there is a wire at the back which can fix your part and pull it back and stops it what is called arrested landing so for stages it was carried out so history was created when our indigenous military aircraft was arrested landed on board the aircraft carrier so lca tejas right achieved this particular one on 11 january 2020 right so there is another very important one and uh, you can see the diagram here this is the runway this is the runway what you have on the part of the um, uh, here the this is tejas this is light combat aircraft tejas so it arrested landed means this yellow circle what you see after just uh, landing to the this dock with the runway immediately with a, this such low distance it is stopped it was stopped here this is called arrested landing and this is the platform this is the runway on the ins vikramaditya aircraft carrier what you see right now this is the aircraft carrier there right what you see the photograph here arrest landing immediately landing and stops right so tejas fighter craft which is important for india this was milestone was achieved all this can be questions in the exam right you could expect questions in the examination all right so what i have done here i have covered important uh, news from drdo which was successfully which were all successfully tested over the last year right from the documents of the drdo only i have filtered and discuss in the class right so we'll take a short break here and after this break we'll go to other type of uh, defense development as it came in the news we'll discuss that and then followed by nuclear science and technology again important current aspect where you could expect questions in the exam all right so we'll stop here and uh, just take a small break and then we'll continue with the other development defense followed by nuclear science and technology i hope you are able to understand all these areas and can follow that all right so just uh, wait for a moment we'll start the topic there all right okay we'll we'll get back very soon